Yo, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, actually. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Harvey coming to you guys live for the very first time, but not the last time. So uh, just wanted to <laughs> uh, just kind of go out there and just put myself out there and really just, you know, post something, something real today, you know. Um, you know, I think uh, first I want to give honor to God, uh, my Lord, my Creator, um, for blessing me with today. Um, so thank you, Lord. Um, you know, I took, I put, I put a message out a while ago saying, you know, this was uh, going to start coming and like, literally this is, this, uh, is going to be coming even more often. As you guys see, I'm, I'm stumbling on my words because <laughs> I'm just like nervous and excited at the same time to start presenting my videos to you guys. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just super excited, um, for the opportunity I get to wake up uh, today and do this. Um, just really opening myself up out there to the world. So <laughs> you guys will get to know a little bit about who I am. <laughs> um, you know, my vision for this is to have, uh, uh, conversations. So I want to do like a one-on-ones with, uh, people, um, randomly, uh, that I find interesting. Um, just out in the world. Um, and usually this is going to be about a 10 minute segment. Um, you know, could go up to 15, um, and then possibly 18 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how it goes now, but we're going to start off with doing 10 minute segments, uh, into this video, into my channel. Uh, yes, uh, first ever YouTube channel. So like I said, super excited about this. Um, but just giving insight to me, um, so you guys know who I am. My name is Harvey. Um, <clears throat> excuse me got like this phlegm in me um but I, just, I want this to be real guys i want you guys to understand uh, who i am um <clears throat> i am here to really just speak about life envisionment um destiny fulfillment so i really think some of you guys are going to really like this video um and obviously this first video is probably not going to be the most oh come and watch me video but it's going to give you some insight to what what's to come and what we have going on um because um these videos are going to be just strictly real they're just about just general life when we're talking about um it's painful for me to even start this video today this week obviously um we're talking about an iconic legend who had just passed away and Kobe Bryant and, and Gianna, um, his daughter, um, and the victims of the people that were on the helicopter this past week. Um, my personal thoughts go out to the Bryant family. Um, you know, I never knew Kobe personally. I can, I can assure you guys of that, but, um, I have definitely been around Kobe my whole life. Um, <laughs> just growing up watching him. Um, he's just a few years older than myself, but also just me being um, also a part of the uh, entertainment business within radio um, and then being a part of the sports brand, the same sports brand. We, uh, you know, we, we were a part in an inkling of, you know, family within our brand and with the entertainment business so we have definitely know what it's like um when someone who has it's who has impacted you the way he has has affected you so um super grateful for the person he was and the life he led and the legacy he left behind um <clears throat> and even like his family has just taught us so much about who we are as people and about what is the right thing to do or how to overcome. So I appreciate the family for being open and being vulnerable to the world, you know? Um, that was something important as well. Kobe was very relentless. Uh, messages about, you know, aspiring people, you know, and to do their ultimate best and to never let anyone, you know, tell you differently, you know? If you have a goal, go get it, go achieve it work hard at that goal don't let no one stop you you know that's literally what it's about and as i really you know just kind of think back on some of the words you have said um i find it kind of difficult to to talk about this because it's so emotional but at the same time i want to definitely be excited for the things that he has embarked on us because any time any of us have ever wanted to go out and do something amazing, like 
we have stopped ourselves in those tracks, right? You may have wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, um, and you had some reasoning for not doing those things. A professional athlete, some reasoning for not pushing yourself to become that professional athlete. You know, and sometimes, you know, understand life throws us a curveball, so we can't always do those things. I get that. You know, you maybe were going to be a track star one day, boom, boom, boom. The next thing you know, your legs got taken out. I'm sorry for if that's it happened to anybody. I mean, just apologize for one, but it's the truth. You know, you never know. You could have had an injury to your leg or to your knee, and next thing you know, your running days are over. So, how do we go on with life? You know, um, same thing within sports, you know, injuries. Sometimes there's injuries that are career ending. There they're just are. And how do we go on with life? You know, that's all That's all we did. That's all we were, we're known about. Or is it? Maybe I said that was a dramatic pause there. But or is it, though? Seriously, it, is your life based on what you do or who you are? So I really ask you guys that because life is not based on who, what, you know, what you do. You do it because you love it. Amazing. They say if you do something you love for the rest of your life, you'll never, you'll never work a day in your life. So I really truly believe that. So you do something you love, hey, why not? But can can you love something more than once? Can you love other things? I think so. So, you know, if your true passion is to spend time with your kids or to, 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 to help develop kids or raise kids, hey, let's get into some type of development program and start a business. Um, if you want to help people with life, you know, hey, become a life coach and help people with life. You know, if you want to train people to become, you know, bodybuilders or, or lose weight, hey, become a personal trainer and let's get that, that ball rolling, you know. So these are things that I really stress to people because these are things you say you want to do, but you still fail to do them. And the reason why I'm saying all these things right now is because I struggle with that myself. I struggle with saying what do what does Harvey exactly what does what do what do I really truly want to do you know and what is my passion in life what do I what am I excited about every single day that I wake up and how do I make that be something I do for my life you know what I mean so that's something I got a few ideas out there <laughs> I'm still I'm still contemplating what those uh, what those ideas are going to go forward but I got a few ideas and now it's like the action part. So now you have to think about what are you passionate about? So today I challenge everyone to write a list about the passions in their life. Then after you write the list about passions, review each one of them and see how can I start moving forward? How can I put these passions into actions? So then I want you to write a list of actions, guys, write a list of actions and see what's the next step. What actions can I take with this passion? And then after you get those passion with your actions, then you have something concrete. Okay? This is what I need to do. I need you to research how does this work. So if you say you're going to be a – let's go to the trainer real quick. You're going to be a physical trainer. Yo, you love this. Boom, that's your passion. I love helping people. Perfect. What do I got to do to become a physical trainer? You got to research that, right? So you got to go to school. You got to um, start building up your clientele. You know, you can start – you know, you got a few people that's trusting you. You can start working with them, but you gotta go to school first, right? You gotta learn about uh, uh, kinesiology and all that good stuff, right? Uh, the way the body works and, and nutrition, right? So those are things you gotta learn about. Um, so those are just things like, you know, um, just for instance, I'm talking about. So now we have a plan. This is what I have: school, build a clientele, and start moving from there. Find a gym, you know, start working out of a gym, and eventually get my own gym if that's what you want to pursue so these are the some things i'm trying to you know put out in perspective guys so i hope this helped today guys um i really want you guys to really start thinking about those things um because that's what i'm doing right now so we're going to be like learning this together moving together and really trying to figure out what's stopping us um i know a lot of things are stopping us and i want you guys actually to write down what has stopped you too so when we review this coming again here in the next 
probably next couple of days, to be honest with you, I, I really want to hit back on this message. Uh, we want to definitely see where are those stumbling blocks, okay? So until next time, I appreciate you guys listening to me. I hope this has helped. Hope you guys are interested in the next segment of these videos because I really want to get back to you guys and see exactly how we can help each other and how we can move forward um, because I want everybody to start being excited for their passions and to start putting their passions into action. All right. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys. Have a great day. Please uh, message me with any information, uh, any information that you have or, or comments below. Um, hit me in my inbox. Just let me know uh, what you like or please subscribe to this channel uh, because this is going to be the first one, guys. So thank you for everyone tuning into my, my channel today. I appreciate you. Um, like I said, please inbox me. Let me know what comments you have for me and uh, we'll get back to you guys next time and in the future we're going to look for more people to have one-on-one -on -one conversations because this is going to be an uh, epic topic and i'm already seeing i'm over the 10 minutes so <laughs> i think we're going to start pushing it up to even more maybe up to 15 minutes of the next segment because uh yeah i have a lot to say and i want to respond back to you guys' comments as well so <clears throat> you guys have a blessed day this is harvey signing out